I am standing on Southwest 8th Street here in Miami, Florida, right across the street from what is billed as the most famous Cuban restaurant in the world, and its name is Versailles. Every time I'm in Miami, this is the restaurant I want to go to. In fact, it's considered the cultural hub of the neighborhood of Little Havana. So let's go inside right now. I'll show you around and also show you what you should order. It's called the classic. So let's go. Practically any time you come to the Versailles restaurant, there will be a line outside. But don't worry because the restaurant is very large and the service is excellent. So they will have you seated in no time at all and soon you will be enjoying some of the finest Cuban cuisine that you have ever tasted. As I said, I would suggest going with the Cuban Classic Sampler. This includes a ham croquette, some picadillo ground beef, and also the Cuban pork, the roasted pork, which is delicious. But each day they have specials, and everything that I've ever ordered here is excellent. All right, so our meal has arrived. Ah, oh, it looks so good. So before you dig in, what do you think? How does it look? Looks good. All right, every time I come to the Versailles restaurant, I always get the classic sampler. Oh, and it's delicious. Um, this is, of course, white rice. This is picadillo, which is a ground beef, Cuban style. This is a Cuban tamale. Uh, this is a croquette, sweet plantains, and of course, the best thing to get right here. That is roasted pork, Cuban style. Mm. That is delicious. Also, when you come to Versailles, you have to get a Cuban sandwich. There's a lot of food, but it's well worth it. You can get a Cuban sandwich just about anywhere in the United States now, but Miami is the only place where you can find the true Cuban origin. So you can see it right there. Uh, very good. So here's my first bite of a Cuban sandwich. Mm. Ah. Ham, pork, mustard, and pickles. Very good. So that's what I would suggest anytime you come for the first time to the Versailles restaurant, get the classic, try the Cuban sandwich as well. What do you think, buddy? Oh, yeah. You want to try it? You can try it. He's not ready to try the Cuban sandwich yet. When he gets a little older, he'll learn. <laughs> All right, so here we have shredded beef. And plantains and rice. And rice. Have you had it yet? No, not yet. You oh, took a bite. Right. That's good. Oh, very good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So let me try some of yours, Ash. Yep. We'll just put a little bit right there. All right, I've been to the time many times. I've never tried the shredded beef. So, see how it compares to the shredded pork. Wow. I'm not kidding. I've never tried the shredded beef. I've always gone with the pork. But this is outstanding. I hate to say this, it might be better than the pork. Maybe so, I don't know. I mean, this was outstanding. So, that's a lesson learned. Try something different every time you come because then it might surprise you. All right, I'm about ready to try another dish I've never tried. Um, shredded chicken. Uh, like I said, I usually get the classic. But this is the shredded chicken. Mm. Good. This is outstanding too. Not surprising, besides a great place to eat. And I've learned something today. Keep trying new stuff. So, mm, the chicken is excellent too. And like I always say, I don't care what you order off this menu, it's going to be good. 
And I would definitely try the shredded of beef again, the shredded of chicken. But of course, a classic is always great as well. Black beans and rice, traditional Latin cuisine. Delicious. This is picadillo, which is uh, ground beef and a lot of spices, cumin. Uh, the traditional uh, picadillo has beans in it, as well as olives. And they have a little bit of olives in here, but not a whole lot. And um, I don't know, it kind of tastes like a hash, sort of, but it's very, very good. This is the tamale. Kind of a traditional tamale. Sweet, a lot of cornbread filling in it. And ham, I believe. Mmm, delicious. I'm bad. Of course, the classic pork, nice and white, looks good, no fat on it. Mm, that's delicious. You can taste the uh, the mojo sauce that it's marinated in, probably lime juice, orange juice, uh, other spices. Mm, very good. All right, so guys, how was your first meal at the Versailles restaurant? What was your favorite part? The food. I like the beef. Not the company? <laughs> well, kind of hurtful. How about you, Ryder? What was your favorite part? Say the fries. <laughs> French fries. You will definitely want to save room for dessert. Versailles has one of the best bakeries that you will ever visit. But I will save that for part two of this video series. And don't forget to subscribe, hit that notification bell, as well as like, comment, and share. That really helps us at the right sites, and it's all free of charge. So be looking for part two of our Versailles series, and you will see some of the most amazing pastries in the city of Miami.